Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Derek Taylor. I'm the creator of the DistroTube channel on YouTube and Odyssey. My videos primarily revolve around Linux and free and open source software. I've been strictly a Linux user since around 2008. It's the only desktop operating system I've run on any of my computers since 2008. And it really changed my life. It changed the way I thought about computers and software. And because of that, it made me a Linux enthusiast. I want to share the message about Linux and free and open source software to everyone. Anybody that will allow me to spread that message, you know, the, anybody that wants to hear that message, I want to tell them about Linux and free and open source software. I'm a member of the Free Software Foundation. One of my main goals is to spread the message of how proprietary closed source software is evil. It doesn't respect your freedoms or your security or your privacy. And when you use proprietary operating systems like Windows or Mac OS or Chrome OS, you are not really using that operating system. That operating system is using you. You are the product. They are data mining you. They're, they're scanning everything you do. They're, they're selling your data to make a profit off of you. And, and I really want people to try free alternatives. And when I say free, I'm not talking about free of charge, even though Linux, of course, is free as in free of charge. But I'm talking about free software as in freedom software, freedom respecting software. So when I say free software, I mean freedom software. And that's what Linux is. And uh, again, it changed my life and I wanted to change your life. Other than Linux, some other pieces of free software that I cover a lot on the channel are Vim and Emacs. Vim and Emacs are cross-platform text editors. They're highly configurable text editors, very extensible text editors. They're available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And Kind of like Linux changed my mind about how I thought about computers and operating systems and software in general. Vim and Emacs changed the way I thought about text editing, note taking, uh, workflow. Like it's a complete game changer when it comes to workflow. Another focus of the channel is window managers. I've covered probably two dozen different window managers available on Linux. Many of them I'm trying out for the very first time on camera. You guys get to see me, you know, live in them for like a 30 day period or a 60 day period. And, you know, I'll configure them and you guys get to see that journey. Of course, many of them are window managers that I've used off and on for more than a decade now. And one of the things I really love is tiling window managers. I cover a lot of tiling window managers because, again, it's a, it's a game changer as far as workflow. Once you get into tiling window managers, again, it's one of those things where it completely changes the way you think about things like a desktop operating system. One of the things I'm really proud of is the fact that I, I've gotten so many people to actually try out things like Vim and Emacs and tiling window managers and Linux in general, because I hear from you guys all the time that, hey, you know what, I watched one of your videos and I decided to give Linux a try or Vim a try or, you know, this window manager a try. And you know what, I'm, I was blown away by it and it's completely changed my workflow and the way I use my computers. And I really appreciate it. And when you guys send me those kinds of messages, it makes me proud. It also humbles me a little bit because it, and I can't do what I do as far as making these videos without you guys. I mean, you guys, without your support, none of this is possible because most of my funding actually comes from donations from viewers of the channel. You know, most of my income is actually from support from Patreon, from PayPal, from LBC donations for those of you that watch my videos on Odyssey, and I really appreciate it. I do ask for your continued support, those of you that are supporting me, and for those of you that are considering supporting me, please check out DistroTube over on Patreon. So that's just a little bit about me and about the channel, what the channel is about. For those of you, if this is new to you, your first time seeing any of my videos, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you want to learn more about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe. Also, click the little bell icon. That way you never miss anything.